everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Stuff and Things. Ashley and I left Purgatory up near Durango this morning at around, what time, like 9.30, 10? It's about lunchtime for us now, and we've made it down to a spot currently in New Mexico. I've had this spot pinned on my list of places to go for quite a long time, but it's like really far out of the way for pretty much everything. But since we were in the south west corner of Colorado, this wasn't too far away. Look, rocks. Look at it. We came here to see rocks. I see them. They're nice rocks. These are not the rocks we are looking for though. We are here at Ship Rock. It kind of looks like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Scorpions everywhere in the Southwest. So just like the rest of New Mexico, this place is just like a giant barren wasteland kind of. But this is some of my favorite type of scenery. What'd you find? A jaw. A jaw? Yeah. Of an animal? Whoa. I wonder what that is. I know. It's got like canine teeth though. Cool. Adventure. Adventure! So we're gonna cook some lunch. I'm gonna take some photos for the Psy Productions Instagram. I've been wanting to take a really cool photo of Shiprock for a long time. And I would say we could rip the Grom around here, but we've got a lot of places to see today. And this is just number one. So it's getting very hot here in New Mexico. We're cooking up lunch quick and then we're gonna head out of here pretty fast. We're not too far away from Four Corners, so we might as well drive through there since it's kind of in the direction that we're headed. What are we eating? I got... Tenderloin? Yeah. I got some Fit Turkey Pasta. Ooh, that's hot. If you guys haven't heard me talk about my Fit Foods before, you should definitely check them out. If you are in the Portland, Denver, or Houston area, My Fit Foods has a few different locations and they make these sort of meal prep things for eating healthy. Some of them are gluten free. This one that I'm actually gonna have right now is, it's really good for you, throw it in the microwave, easy to heat up and that is clutch when you're in the van trying to cover some ground because we don't really have time to cook right now. If you do happen to check out their website, myfitfoods.com, you can use code SI20 for 20% off a bunch of meals. So. Check it out, that's what we've been eating in the van. So good. Technically not a sponsor, but could be a sponsor. Could be. Could be, should be. We just went through like three states in a minute. Sure did. Where are we at? Um, which state are we currently standing in? We're in New Mexico again, yes. but we went to Arizona and then yes. back to New Mexico. Yes. And we're gonna go to Colorado real quick and then to Utah real quick. Yeah. And then maybe Come back on. to Arizona. So we're of course at a super iconic like touristy destination. We are at Four Corners. This is it. 
You want to walk around all the states? Yep, ready? Yep. New Mexico. New Mexico is kind of hot. Colorado, we were here this a morning. Cooler. A little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. Utah, my favorite state. I think my favorite states are like right here. In between right these two. And back to Arizona. Made it. Pretty cool. You want your picture? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> what are we in? New Mexico? Colorado. All right, so that was Four Corners. <laughs> Literally five minute stop. It was good, <laughs> worth it to see it since we're right here. It's something that I've always seen in like textbooks and elementary school and geography class. Yeah, I totally pay attention in geography. Yeah, I bet. Your sense of direction is phenomenal. Where are we going now? Moab, right? Not yet. No, Monument Valley. We're gonna go back to Arizona, visit Monument Valley. Back it up, Terry. And then find a spot to sleep, most likely in Moab. So we've made it to our next stop, the epic drive through Monument Valley, Mexican Hat. And now that I'm here when wildfires aren't too terrible through Southern Utah, you can actually see the whole valley from here, which is pretty nice. What do you think? It's okay. We're just here to look at rocks. How are the rocks? They're pretty freaking big, dog. And there's some nice rocks. I stopped right here at this sign before because Forrest Gump is a great movie, even though Ashley doesn't like it. It's a great movie. They actually changed this sign since I was here last. It used to be made out of wood, but this is where he said, kind of tired. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. I think I'll go home now. You've never even seen it. Like twice. You hated it. Each time. Hideous. So gross. Well, we've made it to our destination for the night. We are in Moab, and I'm doing things a little bit different this time. Typically, I would stay out in the middle of nowhere, but since we brought the Grom with, I secured a BLM campsite right along the Colorado River right here. We're gonna park here for the night, check out the campsite, and then take the Grom into town for dinner. And then we got two days of exploration here. You excited to spend your birthday in Moab? Yeah! So exciting! Adventure! Adventure! Look at this camp spot. Bugs? Yeah. So I know this video is all quick and all over the place, but I think I'm gonna end it here because we're gonna regroup and do it all again tomorrow. Got a few things planned. Show her around this place. Hopefully you love it as much as I do. I'm sure I will. We'll find out. We're gonna find out. In the next episode. <laughs> so if you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you in the next one. Okay. Oh.